Hey guys and welcome back. So today I thought I'd have a little bit of a beauty chat. It has been quite a while since I've mentioned some of my favorite beauty favorites so I thought I'd go through all of my current favorite makeup and skincare favorites or the things I've been reaching for a lot lately. I was doing these every month but I sort of felt like it just encouraged me to buy more things just to test out to find new things that I loved. So I hope you guys like this sort of impromptu every once in a while type of beauty favorites video and I think I'll start with eye makeup and I wanted to mention a eyeshadow palette that I've been reaching for so much recently and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess eyeshadow palette so this is just a little quad it looks like this. It's got some really great wearable shades and then it also has this really sparkly glitter on the side. There's two shades that I tend to reach for a lot. I usually go for the prime shade which is a really pretty light gold champagne color and then I also use the, what is this called, the smoke shade which is sort of a burnt bronzy color and I'll just show you guys. I'll show you on the cutaways too but it's just so pretty. I love that and I just feel like it looks so beautiful on the eyelids and these are such a dream to work with. They're so buttery, so pigmented and they blend out really beautifully as well. So it's just been nice to start reaching back for this and this is the palette that is for people with brown eyes so it's the perfect match for me. Next I'm going to talk eyeliner and I think I mentioned the same eyeliner in every single beauty favorites video but it is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Eyeliner. This is my holy grail. I really don't think anything compares to this, not even the Tom Ford eye defining pen which is so much more money I think it's much more worth it to get this just as it stays all day it gives me a really ultra sharp wing and it's just got sort of those bristle um, sort of has a bristle brush and with just a really sharp pointed tip and I've had this for a little while now and I found that the tip hasn't gotten all blunt because I have had that issue with other eyeliners in the past so this is a really great one if you're looking for an eyeliner that's gonna last you all day but doesn't break the bank Mascara is something that I find I really struggle with. I find it really hard to find a mascara that doesn't smudge all over my brow bone. And I can say that whenever I'm wearing one or testing a new one just to see if it's going to work for me and I go into the bathroom and my brow bone is just covered in smudgy mascara mess, I feel like I look so disheveled and it's a little bit embarrassing. But one of the mascaras that I've been using which really does work for me is the Tony Molly Panda's Dream Smudge Out Mascara. So this kind of coats your eyelashes in a fiber. That's really the best way that I can think to describe it because whenever I pull off it's sort of like a um, like a gel fiber or something like that. So the type that I got is the um, volumizing one and I really like this. I actually wore it on my wedding day as well. I just think it works really well. I mean it just gives a little bit of extra volume to the lashes which I think is nice. If you want length I do think they have a lengthening one. I'll see if I can find it and link it down below but I was just so surprised by this. I really didn't think I was going to like it and it's become one of my favorite mascaras. I've kind of been mixing it up with my brow products recently and just sort of rediscovering old favorites and what I've been reaching for a lot has been the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit. So this has sort of a wax on one side and then a powder on the other and it comes with the cutest little tools. I love you. I actually use those when I'm using this product and I think this is really travel friendly. It's what I've got on my brows today and I just find it so easy. I actually find it a lot easier to use than one of those um, pencil style ones like this one I've got from Benefit which is the precisely my brow pencil and I do really like this but I actually find that I get a more natural looking brow and a fuller looking brow when I use this. Maybe it's just that I'm more used to using this than I am the pencil. But yeah I find it stays all day. It really looks natural and yeah I think this is a great affordable one as well. When it comes to lips I am either all about a bold lip or I like something really subtle and neutral. But when it comes to bold lips for me it's all about the reds. I love red lipstick. I've got so much of it more than I need. <laughs> That's for sure, but there are two that I've been reaching for quite a bit recently. So the first one I want to mention is from MAC, and this is Lady Danger. You guys are probably really familiar with this. This is slightly orange toned red, and it's a really beautiful matte formula. I don't like their ultra matte, um, I, I think it's called the retro matte formula. I used to have Ruby, Ru Ruby Woo, and that would just drag on my lips. It was so uncomfortable to wear. I just felt like my lips were parched. Whereas this is super comfortable. It lasts for a really long time and it's one that I just love reaching for. So that's that one. And then I have a slightly more affordable one. This one is from Rimmel and you might have seen my blog post on this recently. But this is from their The Only One Matte Lipstick Collection. They did a whole bunch of shades. I'm not a big fan on the packaging. It's very plasticky. I prefer the other packaging they do and also the other 
style of bullet for lipsticks but this is in the shade 500 take the stage and this is a really lovely matte lipstick I really like the way this applies it's really creamy it feels super comfortable on the lips doesn't drag and I also find it's got a really great wear time I wouldn't say that's true of all the lipsticks in this particular range but this color I can wear it all day and not have to top it up so I think it's pretty incredible particularly being able to wear it through food and drinks so I've got another product from Tony Molly and I actually got given some credit to spend on Style Korean so I picked up a whole bunch of things and Tony Molly was definitely the first beauty brand that I just went straight for and I got this because I'm a huge Pokemon fan and it just really stuck out to me and I thought I want to give that a go and it is the, I'm just going to read what the product is down here, the Tony Molly Pikachu Mini Cushion Blusher and this is in the shade Peach Orange and like just look how cute and also the box has the Pikachu sleeping face on it as well um, but when you open it up it's got a little pokeball in there Ooh. which is the uh, applicator and then inside you've got the product this is such a beautiful peachy shade I really love the way that this applies onto my cheeks and it looks so natural I'm a huge huge fan of cream blushes I just think that they are so incomparable to a powder blush for me, they just look so dewy, so fresh, which is something that I am really loving at the moment rather than more of a matte face. So I have been reaching for this a lot and I apply it with, hold on, where's my brush gone? Sorry, all of my beauty, all of my beauty products sit right here. So excuse me while I reach over. <laughs> I apply it with the stippling blush from Morphe, I think I just said blush, I meant brush from Morphe and typically I don't tend to like Morphe brushes too much. I find them actually really scratchy and uncomfortable to use however this one is really really lovely. It's really soft and I think this is probably the only one that I really like from all, from the brush set that I got. So I might put a link to this one down below in case you guys are interested in checking it out because this is what I use whenever I'm applying a cream product and I just find that it works so well and it just helps to distribute the product really nicely and evenly and look really natural. Alright, and then the last beauty product that I wanted to mention is a nail polish. And I have been really getting into Essie nail polishes recently. I used to be a huge fan of Chanel. I think they've got probably one of the best sort of very curated shade selections out there. However, it always chips on my nails. I think, I think it just doesn't work for me. But Essie, I find, lasts for quite a few days. And I have been loving the shade Eternal Optimist, which is this really pretty petal pink. I just think that this is so great for those in-between seasons. We're just at the beginning of autumn now and I just think that this is a great one for every day. Also just on the fingers, on the toes. I love it and it's what I have been reaching for every single time I want to paint my nails. Lastly, I thought I'd share some of my current favourite skincare products and I don't have too many here to share. I really need to go and pick up a new cleanser but at the moment for toning my face, I've actually got two products that I love, these two here. So I'll start with the one that I use first and this is a cult beauty product. I didn't know this until probably two weeks after I got it but it's the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. So this is... Um, a really strong toner. I find that this works great whenever I'm having a really bad skin day. This just helps to calm down anything that's going on underneath my skin. It is quite strong so what I tend to do is I will balance it out with this one here and this again I got this from Star Korean too. This is from Benton and it's the Aloe BHA Skin Toner. So when I was looking at products to buy I had a look through this brand and this really struck out to me and I think it was just because it's got such a unique and interesting sounding ingredient list. I think it even has something from a snail in it. Snail secretion filtrate. filtrate? I don't know. Sounds bizarre, but <laughs> I really like the ingredient list and all of the reviews that I've read on this have been so good, actually just from the, their range. So I thought I'd give this a go and I really like the combination of using these two because this is a really soft toner. So it, it doesn't feel like this one where this one feels like it's really kind of stripping your skin of all of the impurities and everything. This one just feels very calming and soothing. So I'll put this on afterwards and I really like the combination. I think it's working really well for my skin. I've had pretty good skin recently. So yeah, I think that this is a match made in heaven. Now to moisturize, I have been going for my Eve Warm Rescue Oil Free Moisturizer. I picked this up last year, I want to say sometime, maybe in November or December. And I've been loving this as 
has been the perfect summer moisturizer. It's been so hot here in Sydney. We've had humidity of 70-80% which is just ridiculous. This I find just feels so lightweight on the skin. It feels like it's giving my skin a drink of water that it needs because we have had the aircon on a lot over the summer but also it doesn't feel like it's making my skin really greasy or clogging my pores. So I'm really really liking this one and I think I'll probably be purchasing this. I think it's also going to be a good one for the winter as well. And then the last product I wanted to mention is from Innisfree. Again, this is another Korean beauty product and this is their Green Valley Grommage Peeling Mask. I used this last night and I've used it a few times before that and I really like it. It's sort of a strange product. You don't leave it on your skin for very long, um, but it's sort of is supposed to eliminate dead skin cells for smooth skin and it really does deliver so you kind of apply this all over your face a really thin layer then you leave it for a few minutes and then you rub it off and I tend to rub it off and then I use some more mortar to remove anything that's left on my skin but I love the way my skin feels after I use this it feels so smooth so soft it's amazing so I've been using this a couple of times a week and I'm really loving the results so yeah definitely worth having a look at if you want to get a mask and I feel like it's also just a really nice serving one to apply to your skin cool so those were all the beauty products that I wanted to mention thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have a current beauty favorite I would love to know what it is so that I can go and check it out don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.